What's up again guys? Yo. This guide on stats is the first out of two parts. Anyway, shown here are the basic ones that affect others. As per the in-game basic guide, most of them are self-explanatory. But I will try to squeeze more details out of those that are quite vague. But before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Alright, first, critical damage. This is one and the same with critical damage increase rate. Next, penetration and resilience. This is the pair that causes a lot of confusion to players. I hope my theory here is spot on. But certainly it's open for any verification or contradiction. And, as I've said time and again, nothing is written in stone. I imagine both stats as invisible debuffs that apply on all engaged characters. If character A engages, character B A's penetration and resilience will apply on B, lowering his attack and defense, and vice versa. Then, any damage they may inflict on each other are computed based on these reduced values, like so. You can simply imagine penetration similar to the corruption effect of the desolator item in Dota 2. And resilience similar to Atroposa's enfeebled skill. If it was a passive that affect anyone who engages him. But theories aside, we know for a fact that this stat pair is vital in PvP. Along with critical rate, resist and damage. Thus, Put it high on your list of priority stats. Now, let's move on to detailing a few mystifying stats listed on the character status sheet. Critical accuracy rate increase. Don't know where the character 5% comes from. But all races and classes have it. Anyhow, the value of equipment there comes from your accessory set's critical rate bonus. By the way, I think this is a typo. ACC. The supposed abbreviation of accuracy shouldn't be there. Critical resist rate. Normally 0%. But if you acquire relevant buffs, the value of that will reflect here. The relevant buff may come from any source. Skill. Pots. Auras. Etc. Alright. Damage increase rate. The value of equipment comes from your accessory set's final damage increase bonus. Damage decrease rate. The value of equipment comes from your armor set's final damage decrease bonus. Skills comes from the total of your armor mastery passive. If you divide the value of skills into four, you'll exactly get the per stack bonus of that passive. Assuming that you're wearing four pieces of that armor type. Okay. Attack speed increase rate. 100% is the normal value. Anything beyond that are your bonuses. Accuracy rate increase. The value of equipment comes from your accessory set's accuracy rate increase bonus. Next. Evasion rate increase. Normally 0%, but buff base too. Ignore defense damage. Another confusing stat along with the one below it. In my opinion, this is the damage that gets through. By passing all attack versus defense related computations. Like so. <laughs> Fixed damage decrease. Damage that is immediately taken away before all attack versus defense related computations happen. Opposite of ignore defense damage. I think it's better if this was referred to as negated damage. Alright. HP drain. Lifesteal. Yeah. Like a freaking vampire. 
by the way, those twilight pieces are crap ruined and Rice's vampiric legacy. Vampires that sparkle in the sun. What the freak, come on. Ha ha ha. Okay. MP cost decrease rate. The discount when consuming mana to cast spells or use skills. Next. Speed increase rate. This is move speed and not attack speed. Abnormal status resist rate. In most games abnormal status is typically the same as the word debuff. Common debuffs are stun, slow and dot. Or damage over time effects such as poison, burning, bleeding, etc. So this could be resistance against all of those nasty effects. However, since stun and slow have the respective resistance stats already, this could most likely point to the DOT effects mentioned. Alright. Decrease skill cooldown by percent. Normally 0%, but buff base too. And finally, chaotic value. Normally 0, but increases when you kill someone in an area with PK penalty. Until your in-game name becomes red at value 5. And everybody starts killing you if their PK setting is set on justice. Or the green one. Mine is always set at justice too. So I auto kill chaotic fools. By the way, the PK section of the in-game basic guide provides more info on this. On a side note, the enhanced set listed on a stats breakdown simply reflects the bonus provided by the enhanced set effect feature. And that is all there is for now. Stay tuned for the second part of this guide. Also, check out other videos from Shadow of Clan Philippines and subscribe. Happy character building! Peace out, y'all.